listeners, this is Utkarsh Kumar Rai and today I am going to talk about how to win over your boss who does not like you despite your good work. Everyone in their career faces such a boss who does not like you or trust you. You become clueless and helpless and put a lot of effort to impress them and in that process you make more mistakes and antagonize them. Such bosses conduct short talk, mostly prescriptive in nature, that is what you have to do. They mistrust, operate in fault-finding mode and frequently give negative feedback. You become puzzled about your boss behavior because you know that you are doing a fairly good job. So if it is not about your knowledge, a skill or work output, then what did you do wrong? Why your manager does not like you? Over the time, the distance between you and your manager increases and it takes a toll on your mental health, instills self-doubt and impacts your work performance. So watch my video until the end where I am going to share three reasons why your manager does not like you despite your good work. And then I am going to share three tips which will help you to win over your boss. And if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel, then please do it. And also watch my other video, Great Layoff After Great Resignation, 5 Preparation Tips to Face It. First, three reasons why your manager does not like you. First, Union Leader. Are you at times acting like a union leader, instigating your co-worker, rubbing salts on their wounds and provoking them to take up issue with their manager? Do you get a kick in pulling your manager down during meetings because of your superior domain skills? Is there a lack of respect towards your manager which reflects in your body language? Such behavior prompts your manager to label you as a troublemaker. Learn to handle team dynamics in a proper and a mature way. Second, wrong inner circle. Does your inner circle comprises of those people who are on the wrong side of their manager? They are unhappy with their manager, they crib and complain about the manager and laugh behind their back. Your manager is aware of such clicks and you will be known by the company what you keep. So you will also be painted just like any other member of the clique. It is better to interact with everyone. It is also good to have good relationship with everyone, but you should not be tagged with any particular clique. Third, shrewdness. Smartness is good, but shrewdness is not. Do you at times, in order to shine over your colleagues, play them down, take shortcuts, steal credits, or disproportionately take more credit for your achievements. This tact will help you in the initial period, but later on, your behavior will become repulsive. It's good to beat your own drum, but do it while being a good team player. Be honest in your dealings. Three tips to win over your boss. First, observe your boss. You should read your boss, their management style, their values and beliefs, their likings and dislikings. Normally, managers do not heed much attention to the initial mistakes or bad behavior. But when they see there is a pattern, then they start becoming repulsive. So whenever you observe any shift in their behavior or you catch signals of their displeasure, you must ask for feedback. And while asking feedback, you should ask on work and on your behavior too. At times, your manager might not give feedback because they want to observe you more. But make it a habit that whenever you see any shift in your manager's mood, you should ask feedback on work and on your behavior. With that, you are going to do self-correction and this is going to help your manager to have a positive impression about you. Second, help in meeting boss goal. You are very well aware of your own quarterly and yearly goal. But are you aware of your boss quarterly and yearly goal? Have you ever asked your manager, how can I help you in achieving your goal? What challenges are you facing where I can help you? Make it a habit where you can volunteer your help and whenever your manager asks for help, you go all out to help them. This is going to make you more valuable. Third, be transparent and communicative. You are going to gain trust of your manager if you are transparent in sharing good and bad news. Many a times, professionals don't feel a necessity to share information because they think they will only update once the project is complete or when they will see a big risk. This will make you opaque. So be communicative and err on the side of over-communication. This will reduce micromanagement, improves transparency and you will become more dependable. So professionals, you have seen what three mistakes which you do which antagonize your manager and how you can win over by adopting the three tips. 
I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.